While brute forcing services like Telnet or SSH is relatively simple and can be done from a command line terminal, doing the same to a web login is a lot more complicated. Fortunately, there's a Python program called Hatch which makes this process so easy that even a beginner can do it. We'll show you how this works on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. The concept of a brute force attack is relatively straightforward and involves you having a long list of password guesses that you send one by one in the hopes of getting a positive result. Now to do this against a service like SSH or Telnet, you just need to be in a terminal window and send them one by one. But in order to do this against the login page of most websites, it takes a lot more information and it can get a little confusing for beginners. Fortunately, there's a Python script called Hatch which walks us through this process by telling us the information we'll need in order to gather the information for the elements on a web page we want to interact with remotely. Now what happens is we'll open up a Chrome window and allow the Python script to control it based on the elements that we select, putting in our example login and password and then submitting to see if we get a positive result. Now to use this, we'll need to be using Windows because it's the only platform we've currently got this to work on, and we'll also need to make sure we have a working version of Python. Once we have that, then we can get started. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking, and as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Null Byte website. Now I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. Wonderful. So we've gone through and we've attempted a bunch of different passwords, and we now have managed to successfully find the password, which was QWERTY. So this is a great demonstration of how we can just take the elements of the web page, put them into a Python script, and remotely control the Chrome window to do our dirty work in terms of submitting every password included in a password list. While Hatch is a powerful tool for brute forcing website logins, it does have its limitations. There's a number of design elements or other features that will really mess up Hatch. So make sure that when selecting a website, you take note of things like CAPTCHAs, rate limiters that prevent you from inputting a whole bunch of different logins, or even things like hidden logins where you have to click or scroll in order to reveal the login element. Also make sure that if you do succeed in getting into the account, you have permission to do so, because your IP address will be tied to the login, so you could get into trouble if you access an account that's not yours. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on the show, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.